Well, I agree for sure about fasting, particularly intermittent fasting. Now, there is tons of research about intermittent fasting. It's great for weight loss. Uh, it's great for different types of metabolic syndromes. Uh, it even could help prevent uh, the uh, deterioration into Alzheimer's, all kinds of asthma, all kinds of things. So you and I do agree on that, right? Well, we certainly agree that, you know, limiting the feeding window may be a helpful way of helping people reduce their caloric intake. There's different versions of intermittent fasting, which uh, people like Walter Longo have shown to be quite effective in inducing some of these changes. And what we're going to find is that the longer term fasting has an even more profound effect. The high blood pressure, the type 2 diabetes, the autoimmune diseases, and possibly lymphoma, longer term water only fasting seems to be even more effective than the work we're doing with intermittent fasting at helping those patients resolve their condition. Yeah, we, we're, we're using the term intermittent fasting. I kind of want to break it down real fast, and then I want to ask you one more question about extreme fasting. But intermittent fasting, obviously, the idea of periods of fasting with periods of, eat, uh, of feeding or eating. Um, the time-restricted feeding is probably the most popular, where you take 24 hours in a day. You, fi you figure out a feeding window and a fasting window. So, for example, you want to do 12 hours of fasting, you do 12 hours of feeding, and you eat all your meals in that feeding window. And you can, of course, you know, alternate uh, the hours. You can do a 16-8, which studies have shown, seems to be the most effective intermittent fasting. 16 hours of fasting, eight hours of feeding uh, in that particular window. Then there's the 5-2 method, um, where you have five days of typically normal calories, and then two days of eating uh, between 500 to 600, depends on the program. Some go up to 800 calories in those two days. That's a different form. Um, but obviously time-restricted feeding, that feeding window and fasting window are definitely the most popular. More research with that. But I want to go back to extreme fasting real fast. You know, I hear what you're saying. I, I hear, I, I like that you are positioning this and giving the caveat. It's got to be the right patient, must be under medical supervision, not work, does not work for everyone or every condition. However, that being said, young people and some other people who aren't really delving into all the caveats are going to see this and say, geez, I got to do extreme fasting because I'm going to lose a ton of weight. I wanna, I'm going to cure all these different ailments that may be afflicting me. What do you say to that? Is there a concern about it being taken that way? Well, absolutely. You know, intermittent fasting may be done safely by virtually everybody, uh, but long-term water-only fasting is a procedure that's done under medical supervision in a controlled setting. You know, there's video on the Internet that show you how to do a home appendectomy. I wouldn't recommend that either. You know, people could do it, but they're going to be un unfortunate outcomes. And people inappropriately applying long-term water-only fasting are going to be disappointed. Dr. Goldhammer, it's a controversial subject, but I appreciate your take on it, and I hope, by all means, um, that you're able to do large studies, and I hope it bears out that actually uh, can really, really cure uh, some of these illnesses that are afflicting so many people. So thank you for joining me today. It's my pleasure.